Hello everybody and welcome back to TJ's Lego Room and today we're here with another episode of Can You Use This? Um, now this is going to be a little bit different episode because this is not just, uh, just a design that I came up with that I can't use anymore. But this is actually a, a sneak peek at one of the pieces of the giant project that I'm working on. Uh, so this is an anti-aircraft laser turret. Yay! Um, and I'm going to show you how it works. I needed uh, a somewhat small, repeatable, um, very mobile, very articulate laser cannon to incorporate into this build. And so this is what I designed. Um, it's actually fairly simple. Once I take it apart, you're going to be like, oh, well, that's easy. Why, why did you even think that that was hard. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this thing, uh, as you can see, is on a 6x6 six six, uh, base, uh, round base, with a bunch of these uh, quarter 4x4 four four round plates. All right, so then there you see we've got our little turntable piece on the bottom of this uh, six by six round plate. Uh, then we take that off and we've got the four jumpers that lead to the two two by three plates. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick. Uh, and these are actually just stuck on on the upper right hand and upper left hand of those uh, brackets, just stuck right on there. And they, f they fit pretty well and they look pretty good. And even though they're not tight on, they're super tight. Um, now we're going to get into a little bit of the design of the cannons. So if we remove these brackets here. All right. Let's get a little closer. All right, so that should give you a pretty good idea of uh, how this thing works. Uh, I used uh, six six stud long Technic bars, and they go all the way from this end. Sorry for the uh, for the zooming thing. I'll get more of my hands in here. It'll hopefully stay. Uh, so we used one of these Technic pieces, uh, just one of these simple uh, Technic sleeves. Uh, they lock in with pins, but because they're on top of one of these uh, Technic uh, bars, they don't work the same. Uh, then we have a uh, one by two Technic plate right there with the uh, uh, the Technic cross in it. Just one of these funky change of direction Technic pieces. I'm really sorry, guys. I really should know what these things are, but I just use them. I don't name them. <laughs> then we have these Technic bushings, and then a one by three. Uh, a Technic plate right there and we just double that up on each side and then we use those uh, special hollow studs there uh, hollow uh, plates let me see if I can get this off so I can kind of show you oh everything falls apart all right so there we go so one of those hollow ones with just a four long bar inside there and it just pushes right in and you just get it nice and tight put it all together and dish it out. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to show you the, just a quick cross section of this little guy. Uh, ah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so we used a uh, a friction pin, a three long, a three wide friction pin technique, right there. And then right here you can get the gist of the. Oh, there we go. You can get the gist of the entire build. So we have one of those uh, little arch ones that have been around forever. And then we use the long arches. Uh, the first one of those I got was in an underwater set and it was red. Then we used a uh, one by two sloped curved piece. Uh, one by two by two thirds sloped curved piece. Is that? Well, that's stress right there. You guys see that? Wow, that's actually a broken piece. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, ah, I'm going to make it worse. I did not even notice that. I wonder if it got stepped on or something. Or maybe, maybe it just doesn't like me. 
Yeah, look at that. Both sides of that. Hmm. They don't make Lego like they used to. Look at that. Look at that. It can actually move a little bit. Oh, anyway. So I'll get you one last look right there. So we have the Technic brick. We just have a regular 1x1 one one brick, a 1x1 one one plate, a 1x2 plate, and then it all kind of overlaps. Another 1x2 plate over here, a 1x4 plate on the bottom, just to uh, give it a little bit of clearance. And that's pretty simple, right? But when we put it all together, it turns out quite nice. Um, now these will articulate independently unless you have this little back piece on. And it was I was able to design it and put it together so that when it's down flat like that, this uh, back Technic plate is actually touching the, the bricks there. So it stops it from going down any farther than perfectly uh, level. So it's pretty nice. It doesn't go up a ton, but uh, for the for what I'm using it for, that actually worked out just fine. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, maybe uh, a couple of you out there might actually be able to uh, use this in one of your future builds. Uh, I am working on getting an Instagram account, I think. I'm not sure if I should get Instagram or Twitter. Let me know. But uh, yeah, there we go. And the, the best part is, is these things are very, very easily repeatable. Um, you're able, I was able to replicate these things pretty quick. Oh my goodness, you know what I don't have on this? Oh man, I just noticed. Um, I used a couple of, I used some extra cheese wedges on there to uh, smooth it out on the ones that are finalized on the build. So if I take this off, you can see I used a cheese wedge on the back here just sloping up towards the middle. And then on the front, I just sloped them towards each other and just kind of gave it more of a finished look. I forgot I didn't do that on that. Well, I guess what I'm gonna do as soon as this video's over. Right there, yep. All right, well, thanks for checking it out. And uh, maybe we'll check out that one next time. All right, thank you very much and uh, hope you guys have a great, uh, great time and we'll catch you next time. Bye.